in a man ride the heart of the Irish success, Hugo King signed a new three year deal earlier this week. How, how much better can he get, can he? Yeah, gee, he's been one of the standout uh, Irish players over you know the last year and a half, two years. He just you know, and such big shoes to fill with, you know, Rob Carney only leaving a short time ago and, you know, one of the great Irish players and, and he's just slotted into that position. Uh, so effort is, uh, you know, with, with the most minimum amount of effort and he, uh, you know, fully deserves that you know, three-year contract. And I think, did I see an article saying, you know, that he there's a picture of Hugo in Black Rock playing with the under 14 Cs. So it's a testament to show how you just, you, you keep at it and you keep going and, uh, and, and he's come through the sevens program as the first, you know, Irish sevens player to, to get a central contract. So um, I think it's it's no more than he deserves. And the, the really impressive thing about him is, is is he doesn't get anything wrong. He really is not making he's not putting a foot wrong in anything. His positional sense is unbelievable. His um, his decision making, his uh, attacking threats, both, um, you know, kicking passing his aerial ability he would be a complete player uh, and obviously very important for uh, Ireland going forward and I think this is something that Farrell I think deserves a huge amount of credit for that you can really see James Ryan Gary Ringrose um, these players you know even though that they're still young players I mean Keenan's still what 26 but you can really see that he is a, a a leader uh, on the field and he's bringing through leaders and and I think that has been the, the shortcoming for Ireland in the in the past couple of World Cups because obviously when you lose such important players like Ireland have done you know these guys are stepping up to the plate and just touching a little bit there on what Matt said you know come World Cup time if Ireland were you know to play France it's much better uh, I agree with everything he said it's much better Ireland been in this position though and winning these games going into a World Cup. Uh, you would much rather have these more positive outcomes than not, obviously. Um, but come World Cup time, you know, uh, if you, you get that game, Ireland France, it will be a colossal game. And uh, as Matt said, there's a there's a there's a lot of things that can happen between now and then. But certainly Ireland are going in uh, in a really good direction.